Next, connecting your remote control. Check what channel you're going to connect to, channel one or two. Now get your jumper wires and start by connecting them one by one while taking note of the pins marked minus plus and S for signal. Next, we take the VESC, connecting it to the 90 degree angle 3 pin plug. We take note of the ground pin, which will be connected to the minus pin on the receiver. Starting with signal, positive, and ground. Now we can connect the battery. And proceed to turn it on. Next, connect the USB cable to the VESC and then to your computer. Then connect your battery. And proceed to turn it on. Now open VLDC tool. You have a window like this. Double click taskbar to resize. You should have VESC dash USB modem and now you can click connect. Click read configuration. To change the way that your motors are controlled, simply go to app configuration and read configuration. If you have more than one vest connected, tick send status over CAN and write configuration. Default, your VESC will be set to UART. If you are planning on using a RC style remote control, simply change it to PPM. If you are using UART, leave it on UART. If you have a Nyko Karma nunchuck, tick nunchuck and if you have a Benjamin Vetter custom nunchuck click NRF right configuration click reboot wait for your vest to restart and click connect read configuration now that you have changed your application for control of your motor if you are using PPM, go to the PPM tab. By default, it will be disabled. If you would like to go forward and not have reverse or brake, click current no brake. If you would like current no reverse with brake, click current no reverse with brake. Right configuration. If you have multiple VESCs connected together via CAN bus, click multiple ESCs over CAN. If you would like traction control, enable it, then write configuration. You can click display to display the trim on your RC remote. If this is not dead center, then change your throttle settings by your pulse width in milliseconds here. 
pin right configuration.